Don't fuck with Ronda Rousey. Hello and welcome to the Gary Lynch Show with me, Gary Lynch. And these are the stories that piqued my interest today. First up, Nathan Matthews, who's 28, has been charged with murdering his stepsister, who's only 16. Becky Watts went missing two weeks ago, and police were desperately trying to find her, and they recently found body parts in a house in Bristol in the UK. Matthews' girlfriend, who's 21, has been charged with perverting the course of justice, and they're due in court on Thursday. If they are found guilty, they're the scummiest motherfuckers in the world. What would possess you? to kill your little stepsister. You should just be looking out for her. She should be able to rely on someone like you. What is wrong with the world today? And next up, a 16 foot python was found in a canal in Lancashire, believed to be 12 to 15 years old. Thankfully it's dead now, but it had been previously alive in the canal for several days. Animal experts identified the python and said it was potentially dangerous to humans. Thankfully no one got hurt, but who the fuck in their right mind would release a python into a canal? There's animal shelters and other the facilities you can get rid of your animals don't release something like this into the general public what is wrong with you give yourself a slap in the face with a frying pan you thick bastards and next up a pit bull attacked a grandmother while she done her ice bucket challenge and this video is a couple of months old but the grandmother recently decided to release the video the dog used to belong to a daughter who could no longer look after it it was treated like a stud so it wasn't looked after it wasn't loved it wasn't trained and she paid the price she had a wild animal okay maybe a dog but without training love and affection it's a wild animal and look at the after effects fuck me she said she posted the video to show people and to warn them about treating their animals right and around her grandchildren as well thankfully it was her and not her grandkids that got bit and next up Ronda Rousey teaches a smack talker a fucking lesson he's conducting an interview he's all geared up he's got everything on he claims he's a white belt in judo and starts shit talking Ronda Rousey it's all a bit of banter don't worry to which he says he doesn't reckon Ronda would be able to flip a man and she grabs him and slams him on his back and he starts saying his balls got smashed and his ribs feel broken <laughs> Serves you right. And Ronda Rousey, fucking high five, man. Well done. And lastly, a video has been released in South Africa as this group go through a safari park and through a lion enclosure. But what they didn't expect was this lion to open the car door. Thankfully, they had quick reactions and slammed it shut and locked their doors. Fuck me, that was a close one. To anyone watching this who's thinking about going on safari, lock your doors and do up your windows. Don't risk it. Thankfully, these people didn't pay the ultimate price. But fuck me, get some common sense, man. And that's it for the Gary Lynn Show. I hope you liked it. Do please hit the like button if you really liked it subscribe down below check out my previous video there if you're a subscriber thumbs up for you have a good evening and i'll see you tomorrow